Welcome back to our Audi A3 modeling, Blender 3D modeling tutorial. In the last video, we were modeling, uh, working on this area here, the the right side of the, the hood. So um, I'm a little bored of that right now. Let's see if we can, we'll get back to that a little later, maybe in the next video or um, let's work on let's work on the back a little bit or let's see well yeah let's work on the back a little bit so I'm a little I'm a little bored with that area right now uh, so let's see Now, as you can see here, it just it for some reason it's it's moving back. I think it, it's because it needs it just needs more polygons. I'm assuming I, I I guess this way. So let's let's just throw this in here real quick just to see what happens. All right, that helps a little bit. Oh, I think this is why. Um, you don't have to put these in right now. I'm just trying to see if this uh, fixes the problem. I think it will. Usually when stuff like that happens, it's because there's not enough uh, polygons to help define the shape. So let's check this out. Um, that's a lot better, that's not great. Okay, so let's undo this one. Okay. So I'm not really sure where I want to start. I guess I just I guess I'll just jump in. I'll just jump in somewhere. So all of these are pretty much attached. This whole thing, this whole uh, bumper or rear, except for this part right here, is it's all it, it, it's attached together. Um, hmm. Uh, let's let's add a cut here and let's select these vertices here and move them up all right now, if you see right there, that lines up. It's not perfect, but that that's a lot better. And I just did that um, just with that one cut right there. It makes a um, it makes a world of difference. Okay, so I'm going to select these. See, I'm going to move these so it lines up a little better. We want to keep this cut here.
Hmm. Like I said, I'm not really sure where to where to begin. This is a good image right here. It's a nice resolution. Um, I think this, I'm going to select these vertices here. I think this is wrong. This is supposed to come in like that. And I'm going to select these and move them in. bit more I don't necessarily I don't necessarily like how that looks right there yeah I don't know maybe it's good I don't know I just want to make sure I'm, I'm, I'm maintaining that curve. Okay, uh, let's... Split right there. And put push these vertices in like that let's move this these let's move these vertices down here try try to line them up a lot better okay hmm I don't know. I guess that's better. Let's check out the front view. Uh, let's check out the the top view. Look at this guy right here. It's really bad. All right. Um. Move this vertice down. Move this one as well.
Let's move this vertice down. This one. I'm trying to get this curve here. I don't know what's going on right here. I may have to add like a polygon here or, or a split cut cut the, the, the faces right here just to get some more definition. All right, so I ha I have these I have these vertices selected. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to scale these inward so that they line up. Yeah. Hmm. Which side do I <laughs> which blueprint do I follow the the rear or the side? I don't know what's going on here. See, it's areas like this, like uh, like the the front areas, like the front, the back, the fenders, and stuff like that. I always try to avoid because those are the areas that give me the most issues. Or I'm still, I still have, you know, some problems with. I'm going to save right quick if you haven't already. I guess that looks better. <laughs> Let's make sure let's make sure these vertices line up on these lines as close as possible. I think this one works out pretty good because uh, there's a corner right here. I think I need a cut right here. So let's make a cut. Press K. Hold. I'm holding Control so I can split through the the center of the polygon. Select this and let's grab the vertice, the vertex, and move it down. Ooh, that looks it. I don't know why it looks like that. Oh well. Let's pull. Grab these two and pull them out just to try to match the curve okay let's 
So I'm going to switch to the edge selection and let's extrude these down and just drag these down here. Oh, look at that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. These these uh these vertices here are just sticking out. It doesn't match here. Let me see if I let, let's switch to the quad view. See if that helps. I don't know, I don't like doing this um, because I'm, I'm moving these vertices or polygons or whatever separately, individually, so there's like a greater chance that there's going to be wrinkles or bumps. So what I just did, I just deleted. I just deleted those um, extrusion I, I did not too long ago. Um, and I'm just gonna try to fix up these uh, polygons real quick. Or this, you know, this area, this area before I move on. You know what? I'm Take these edges and I'll delete them, and then I'll fix. This area here, and hopefully once I fixed this area up. And I put those cuts back in. I guess in theory, it should look fine. See, as you can see, there's just like a wrinkle there. Let's see if I uh, let's dissolve this edge. And put these cuts back in. And let's put that extrusion. Let's let's extrude these polygons right here again. 
guess these should line up. It, it, this pokes out a bit. So let's push these in just a little bit. Let's, de de uh, let's deselect this guy, this edge right here, and move them in. Because I, I don't know. Okay, so I have the rear view here. Just just as a reference. Let's move this up. Hmm. Let's pull these in. Grab this vertice, move that right there. And pull it over. You know what, let's dissolve, let's dissolve this vertice, get rid of it. So that it, you know, it automatically smooths itself. Save this real quick. Yeah, I guess that's not looking too bad.
I'm not sure if these blueprints are the same as, uh, or if this car is the same as this, the, the blueprints, because the, this area right here, right here, this strip, I'm not seeing it. Hmm. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm not seeing it matching, or maybe it's because uh, the the overlay, the 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 polygon or the mesh is blocking it. But anyway, let's uh, continue. Let's make a cut here. I don't know. See, I'm not sure if this lines up. Let's pull the pull these vertices in. Make a cut here. Let me check. Let me give it. Do a time check right now. Let's see. Thirty minutes. I think pretty soon uh, I'm gonna wrap up this video. It's going on a little too long. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure about these blueprints. These are here.
I'm gonna try to throw that throw on this uh this edge here. You just pull that out. I think uh, for the next video, we can tackle the rest of the the, the rest of the, the the rear bumper. I think this part, what I'm trying to do right now, I think it, it may actually take three or maybe four more videos just to get the bumper to look look decent because uh, I have to look at the I have to look at these uh, blueprints because I'm not really sure these blueprints match up or I'll have to decide whether I'm going to follow the the photography or the actual blueprints but again it's coming along Okay, and uh, so if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and follow me. So follow me on Twitter. So you know the next time I, the next time I post this video, the next video you'll know. And uh, you guys take care.